Hello, this is Kenny Fox from Loop and Learn, loopandlearn.org, and the Loop and Learn Facebook group. Uh, here to help you make some space on your computer uh, so you can continue building Loop to manage your diabetes, or uh, maybe you're just here because you're having trouble updating Xcode as well. So you're probably here because you are getting some kind of message like this where you don't have enough space to update or install Xcode. Probably update. Uh, maybe you've deleted Xcode. Maybe you've deleted all kinds of things off your computer. You still don't have enough space to install Xcode. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to, one, just take a look at the space we have. We're going to click on the Apple icon at the top and say about this Mac. Go to storage. And you'll see I have 60 two gigabytes available at the moment. Uh, you guys probably have a lot less, but I'm just going to show that's how you can check and see. We'll close this. We're going to go to the finder. So with this little blue face down here, click on it. You'll usually get a window that opens up. We need to go use the go menu up here in the top left. It should say finder. If you don't see the go menu, then you need to make sure you're clicking on the finder face down there. It should say finder here in the top left. Click go go home. Now we need to go to the view menu and we need to go down to the very bottom where it says show view options. We're going to check the box on here that says show library folder and you'll see the library folder appeared here in our home directory. We're going to close this window using the little red circle there. So let's go ahead and open up this library. Double click. Go down to, just scroll down, it's alphabetical. You'll scroll down so you get to Developer. Double click on that. Find the Xcode folder. Open that one up. And you'll see we have a few folders here. One is iOS Device Support. Uh, if you open this up, you'll see there are a few folders in here. One for each version of iOS and unique to each phone that I've plugged into uh, my computer while Xcode's been here, it downloads support files, like extra files it needs to to build for that device. And these can take up quite a bit of space. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete these. Go ahead and highlight all of them. Right click, say move to trash. Use the back arrow. And we're going to do the same thing for the watch OS device support folder and go ahead and wipe these out. You'll see there's one for each of these for each watch. So I've had a Series 3 version 1 on, on watchOS 6, 7.6.1, and then a new version of the Series 3 with on uh, watchOS 8.1. So I'll go ahead and highlight these, right click, move to trash, and then you can go ahead and check this derived data folder as well. If there's anything in here, go ahead and do the same thing. Select it all and move to trash and then we're going to right click on the trash icon and empty the trash and empty trash and just so you can see here we're going to go check again about this Mac storage and there's a couple of gigabytes more free and that's because I didn't have uh, a whole lot of files on here but sometimes each of those folders can be taking up uh, three, four, maybe six or seven gigabytes per uh, folder you saw in those uh, for each each uh, version of iOS. So that can clean up a lot of space. Sometimes I've had it clean up as much as 20 or 30 gigabytes. So that should just about do it. Now you should be able to go into your App Store and update Xcode and everything should be fine. Um, if you got anything from this video or want to keep up with what's going on in the uh, automated insulin delivery uh, in the open source community for Loop. Go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.